Hello, it is I, the Great Taco, once more, back with another mock review. This is for my, this is Cordax, my self mock, and he's one of my older characters. The figure itself is not very old. I only updated him within, within the last year. But actually, I'll check out the weapon first. It actually attaches to his back so that he can actually, you know, use his hands. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic build. Just use this Vaki blade, kind of attached it using these little inverted kind of round plates, kind of, you know, just put the technicals here. You kind of see how that attaches. And it is a very sturdy connection. When he's using it, I take this plane and kind of rotate it. I mean, that's not really necessary. This is the pin that attaches to his hand. Kind of pop it to the side. Um, the hilt is a little longer. It's kind of designed to be held with two hands or one hand. And then the pommel, I have a little jewel, which I just attach using a little one by one round with a stud in it or with a hold in the middle, that was really stupid, um, but yeah, very basic sword. Now for the main build, so, he's, this is one of my more complex mocks as of now, this is mainly because of the fact that I used a fully custom torso, which I don't do super that often, so he has kind of like the full waist swivel, you can kind of do it like this, it kind of flex a lot, Kind of, kind of has an ab crunch, not very much. But then he, there's actually two ball joints right there, so I'm actually very proud of that. Every other one's pretty basic, but it's what you would expect on a muck. Um, I used, actually on the back of his head, I have this little thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but thought it would look cool, so I did. I just added it. And I actually, for this little belt here. Let me get the other piece that I have of it. It's actually a reins piece. I don't know what set I got it or what set they originally come in, but this is this piece here. I got them on the Hydra bounty, so yeah, that's a way to get them. Not a very cheap way, though, if I'm being honest. But for that, I basically just kind of added some little, like a vial, some, like some crystal. And these I attached to the back, with the, where I put these lightsaber rods. And it's kind of supposed to be little potions or whatnot that he can use in battle. And also we have the heart light here, and these gears are actually just free-flowing. They are not attached to anything at all. And moving on to the legs, I probably should start here first, but whatever. I just kind of use this basic build. I use the the Viserac, um kind of leg piece, the doubled socket with the three pins in the middle. Then it's a dark green Rakshi leg. It's pretty, got yeah, decent range of articulation there. Pretty good for the knee. And these, I wanted to make this kind of look like plates kind of going up his leg. Definitely a favorite of mine, personally. Also, I don't think really show them from the back that much, but there you go if you were wondering. And then all the little potions and whatnot do come off so that you, you can actually use them. So, and yeah. That's really about it. Ciao.